What's up guys, Isaac here, and in today's video I want to discuss intermittent fasting, which is something I've actually experimented with in the past for about a year last year. So I'm going to give you a no bullshit rundown of the main benefits I experienced with it. And um, of course everyone wants to see a transformation, uh, so that's what I look like beforehand, and that's what I look like afterwards, bada bing, bada boom, bada bam. But let's, let's get into this. So for those of you that don't know what intermittent fasting is, it's basically a eating schedule. It's not a diet, a lot of people have been running around saying it's a diet. It's not a diet because it doesn't tell you how many calories you should eat per day. It doesn't tell you what type of foods you should eat. It basically, you just choose how many hours you're gonna fast and how many hours you're gonna eat. That's all IF is. So the typical split that people have is they have a 16 hour eating wind, uh, fasting window and an eight hour eating window. And people can change this up. So some people have an 18 hour fasting window and then a six hour eating window. 20 hour fasting window, 4 hour eating window. You change it up basically depending on your goals and how your body reacts. I typically use the standard 16 hours fasting, 8 hour eating, but sometimes used 18 hours fasting and 6 hours eating. So uh, does it make you lose fat? Well, it does, but I don't necessarily think it enhances fat loss to any significant amount over other diets because I've done other diets in the past where I have lost fat just as much fat as IF and the reason I think most people lose fat with IF is because of how small the eating window is so naturally if you're going out throughout your day eating you know cupcakes and Cheetos and things like that 24 hours a day or if you are awake 24 hours you're gonna take in more calories but if you have a limited eating window even if you try to eat a lot chances are that big amount you're going to eat is not going to be as much as a small amount added up throughout the day. And what tends to happen is if you eat a big amount after a long fasting period, you start feeling full and as a result, you don't actually even eat that much throughout. So I feel like that's the main reason why people lose fat with intermittent fasting. Now, there's a whole bunch of scientific studies. I'm just looking at some right here. People say that fasting helps you prolong your life, reduce the likelihood of you getting sick, promote cardiovascular health, decreases cancer risk. I don't know about all of that. I'm not sure how valid these studies are. I feel like some of these other benefits that people often talk about are for longer prolonged fasting periods, not just the typical 16 hours fast, eight hour eating window. I feel like that's kind of not really that much to begin with. It's just that as a society, we're conditioned and we're used to eating every single day. So it seems like something dramatic when we fast for 16 hours, but it's not really. Um, the next benefit I actually got from IF was focus. When I wake up in the morning, right, when I'm not doing IF, and I have a big breakfast with sausages, bacon, eggs, scones, baked beans, toast, and, you know, oats, and all that, what tends to happen is, after having that epic meal, I feel groggy and lethargic and just want to take a nap. So this feeling that you get as your food is breaking down, as your body is actually breaking down the food you just ate, kind of reduces your capacity to do meaningful work a lot of the times. So you kind of feel a bit lazy, not as focused. But when you're fasted, when you're in a faster state, your concentration is like razor sharp. I found myself doing lots of work, editing videos, doing you know my engineering work for prolonged periods of times while doing IF. So it is definitely a hack in that regards. Well, at least for me, I'm not sure how you respond to it, but a lot of people have been saying the same thing about how it improves concentration. Now, moving on, the main benefit that I got from IF that I actually, the reason I do it, the reason I tell people to do it, not so much the fat loss, not so much concentration, is the discipline aspect. On this channel, you know I'm always talking about discipline. I'm always talking about stoicism and voluntary discomfort, building your grit, putting yourself through kind of like these minor hindrances in order to improve your mental toughness, improve your grit. Fasting is probably one of the best ways you can do this, right? Because you take someone who's grown accustomed to eating candy canes and cupcakes every single day and eating whenever they feel like it, whenever the urge comes up and you tell them, okay, you can't eat until this set time and you have to stick to it. That act of having a set time, a schedule and sticking to it builds your discipline, it builds your grit, it builds your willpower. 
So I advise everybody to try IFS on stage, mainly because of that it really does transition over to other areas, just in the same way as building a discipline for going to the gym transitions over to other areas. You need the whole holistic approach in order to become a mental juggernaut, in order to have that psychological warfare we're always talking about. Anyway, guys, those are my non-bullshit benefits of fasting. I might make videos on the protocol I used if people are interested in it and more of these fitness nutrition type videos perhaps in the future just to mix it up. Who knows? And I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.